Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI, the one where we talk to handsome shirtless men. Right after fighting random encounters that poison us because the game hates us. Oi. Seriously? I think this is supposed to be plant monsters, but I don't know. They're annoying is what they are. Oh well. What you're gonna do, I suppose. Now, uh, wait. Okay, now, as I was saying, on to the talking to handsome shirtless men. Vargas, that was the son of Master Duncan, wasn't it? Sabin sent you, didn't he? Sabin? Uh, what? Did what just happened? Did he like jump on us? Then he he made our. Did he just pull a Sonic on us? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, who are you? Sabin? Is he here? You you were the one sneaking around us the whole way up here, weren't you? And if I was... Well, it's kind of creepy. Huh. Well, it doesn't really matter who you are. I've got no plans to surrender. Why? Like, why are you picking a fight? Woe is the day you met me! It'll be the last day of your lives! And... Well, he's not entirely- he's not entirely kidding. Uh, okay, I can't reach him until I've killed the bears. And I don't care what the bears have. So I'm gonna kill the bears. First. Is more or less how this goes. However, while we cannot reach him, it doesn't stop him from doing that to us. And it hurts pretty hard. To say nothing of the bears. Because, you know, well, bears are bears. I, I don't really feel I need to elaborate on that one. Truth be told. Okay, so, I am going to save Locke here. Because I want to immediately be able to steal from Vargas, as he ha potentially has an item that I want. I say potentially because, oh hey, I have poison, how long have I had that? I say potentially because it might be a rare steal, and I'm not actually 100% sure on that. Let's try Bio Blaster. <laughs> I'm not sure if this will work, but I'm curious. Well, it worked. Mithra Claws, that's what I wanted. Um, yeah. Because those, we already had uh, one Mithra Claw, but having the second one, well, for, for one thing, we can sell it. But beyond that, it'll come in very handy in a moment. For a reason that will, well, y you'll see. Come on, what's the matter? Enough of this! I'll send you all to the- That doesn't sound right. Enough, Vargas! It's Sabin! Why, Vargas? No, that's that sounds wrong. Why'd you kill Master Duncan? How can you kill your own father? Man, I- I had a voice in mind that I wanted to do for Sabin, but I gotta be honest with you, I cannot pull it off. Um... Oh, oh well. The fool snubbed me, his only son. He chose you as his successor. That's not true. Our master... 
It's true and you know it. It's written in that ugly sneer across your face. He wanted you to be his successor. Not me! He knew you had the most potential. I'm sick of listening to your lies. I've gone far- I've got far more potential than just y Wait. I've got far more than just potential, is what it said, and not at all what I said. Um, why don't you see for yourself? Blizzard Fist! Yep, and he blows away everyone except for Sabin. And suddenly... Ah, Sabin! My father was right to see much in you. I guess there's no avoiding this. Fate made us, made us train together. And now fate will send you to your doom. And now we're suddenly Sabin, and he just inflicted doom on us. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to pause because I'm on doom. There's only one way you can kill Vargas. There's only one way. You need to use Blitz. If we attack him... Well, it deals a little bit of damage, but not enough, because he can kick our ass. But the thing is, Blitz is not easy to use. Well, it is if you know how to use it. But if this is, ver if this is your first time playing, then you probably don't. And I think I just screwed up. Nope. You see... You need to input Blitz commands a very specific way, which I which I clearly I don't remember the combo. Here's the way Blitz work. Pausing again because I don't want to die. You press it once, then it goes into the where it's the arrow is above his head. Then you need to input a certain button combination. Then you press the button again or the confirm button again to make it go through. If you do it right, you will execute a Blitz. The thing is. It, the game never tells you how to properly input a command. It'll It's supposed to tell us the command, but it doesn't tell you how to input it. You see, right here. Time to put an end to this! I just need to use a blitz technique. Like the master taught me. Press... Okay, so left, right, left. Then press the A button. Oh, okay, this is actually sort of explaining it semi-competently. I assure you that in the previous versions, it doesn't explain this properly. Like, I literally died... The first time I got to this fight, the first time I played this game, it I died because I didn't know how to input the blitz properly. It is very unforgiving of figuring out how to input it properly in this fight. It assumes you'll get it right. Pretty much immediately. Because, man, if you don't, you just simply don't have enough time. Yeah, you see, like, he can probably just hit us once and we would be dead. But when we blitz him, he dies. You already learned. That technique? Vargas. If only you hadn't been so consumed by pride. And then he evaporates. Or dissolves, even. Sabin! Brother? Brother? You're his twin brother?! His brother? At first, I thought you were another of Vargas's bears. <laughs> oh, burn, Sabin. You thought I was a bear? I guess I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> and Sabin is a great sport about it. Sabin is awesome. 
Sabin is one of the probably one of the best characters in the game. Uh, both in a favoritism manner and in a gameplay manner, but we'll get to that later. Anyway, Edgar, what are you doing here? We're on our way to the Sa Saber Mountains. To the Turner Hideout, no doubt. So, the wheels are finally turning. I've been watching from a distance, hoping the world would come to its senses. The way things are going, I was afraid Figaro would end up as a puppet state. A means of striking back has presented itself. There will be no more playing lapdog to the Empire! I'M THROUGH WITH THE ACT! Think a bear like me could be of any help? Yes. Yes, he could. I think Duncan would rest easier knowing his training helped me bring peace to the world. Well then, let's get going. Okay, now, we have Sabin, who is, back in here, a monk. Says right there. And who uses claws. Like a mithril claw. Uh, oh, really? I thought you could do it two-handed. Oh well, my mistake. I may as well give him the buckler. Um... Okay, I guess this is about as good as I can do. For now. Oh well. Um. And let's just heal everyone with Terra. Okay. I guess I'll just sell the other claw. Um. Anyway. Anyway, here's the thing about Sabin, though. He has blitzes. He has three right now Raging Fist, Aura Cannon, and Meteor Strike. Uh, the commands, by the way, for blitzes in this game are going to look different than they would in the other versions of the game. Beca because the controller is different. The number pad ones are the same, but beyond that, they're different. Uh, for example, uh, I know in the... P well, yeah, that basically sums it up. Some of his later blitzes use buttons that simply don't ex exist on the GBA ver uh, control pad. So they obviously had to be remapped. Um, but here's the thing about Sabin. His blitzes work basically the same way as Edgar's tools in that they are very powerful initially. However, unlike Sabin, uh, Sabin's tools, unlike Edgar's tools rather, he... Sabins scale with his stats, meaning they get stronger as he gets stronger. Now, initially, I think the tools are better because the tools can hit multiple targets, and the your initial blitzes only hit a single one. But Sabin, because of his blitzes, is consistently one of your best characters you have at any point in the game. Uh, having said that, um, I'm going to need to try to memorize these, <laughs> because, man, just... Oh, hey, there's the other tent. Okay, this is a good opportunity to show off some blitzes. Now, back like so... Oh, hey, I blocked with my knife. And did I execute that right? No, no, I didn't. Okay, then. Oops. Okay, let's try that again. I'm trying to use his aura sphere. Damn it. You see, here's the thing. Some of his blitzes, particularly the ones with Circle, uh, well actually this is partially because I'm emulating to be honest. The detection is not great. Uh... Oh 
Although, truth be told, the, the detection here is mostly my own fault. I'm totally out of practice at doing it, and also my controller is not really... It's not like I'm playing this on the native hardware, you know? Uh, was I even doing the command right? Yeah, I was. Okay, so I'm gonna be experimenting with that to try to show that off. Uh, and in the meantime, what was the other one? Uh, RL down up. Because that one, that's the important one. Um, or that's an important one, I suppose I should say. But I want to try out Aura Sphere first, because it is useful for a few specific situations. Okay, let's see if I pull the Aura Cannon, there we go. I like Aura Sphere better, but whatever. Yeah, you see, the Aura Cannon, Aura Sphere, I'm gonna stick with Aura Sphere. It deals magic damage. Uh, I think it uses magic stats, actually. But I could be mistaken, I don't really remember. I'm gonna need to look it up. But, obviously, it is actually going to become less powerful throughout the game, because Sabin is not really super great on his magic. Um... Well, because he's not a ma magic-based character, right? But, that said, there's things you can do to help compensate for that but I'm probably not going to be doing them too much. At least I'm not going to be going out of my way for it. Even so, though, even so, his blitzes are just, they're just great, um, is what they are. Now, it was, no, it was down up. I screwed that up. Yep, incorrect command. And I'm attacking with Edgar only because I want to show off that blitz, by the way, in case you're wondering. Right, left, down, up. What? I totally inputted that properly. I call in shenanigans. Da 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 da. There we go. By the way, yeah, we just suplexed him. In the Super Nintendo version, that's just called Suplex, I'm pretty sure. Frankly, it should be called Suplex in here. I understand re-changing the name to something that's more thematic, but come on, it's a Suplex! Oh well. As far as translation co complaints go, that is a pretty damn minor one. Really, most of the translation complaints are ultimately pretty minor. It they're just annoying because they tend to boil down to the translator being an idiot who thinks that his line is better than the iconic one. Plus also, I find what sometimes happens is he just doesn't... The guy who translates the GBA games, sometimes he doesn't have a very good sense of sentence flow. Um, sometimes. Like overall he's pretty good, but it, it, cro it crops up a lot in the lot. I tend to notice it more in the lines where, he cha where it's really obvious he changed them. In any case, let's go into the mountain. The Returner Hideout. King Edgar, this way please! I forgot to check if there's anything in here actually. Uh, there is definitely a bunch of stuff in here that I'm gonna want to pick up. Plus also an item shop. Uh, also, before I forget, Take this. Take his stuff off. Um, we'll be getting uh locked back, but we're gonna lose him for a short period of time. And well, I don't really want to lose his stuff. As long as I'm at it, actually. Let's go ahead and throw... Oh, you can't use the heavy shield. Okay then, well that simplifies things. Actually. Okay then. Um, okay then. But yeah, actually, 
just the sprint shoes, really. Those are the important thing to have off. I wouldn't even worry about the stuff anyone else is wearing. Just, in any case, you'll, you'll see what the concern is over in a moment. Uh, and I'm slower because I took off the sprint shoes. Green cherry. What do those even do again? I don't remember. Uh, imp. Okay. That makes sense. And this is an item shop. Which sells stuff that I'm gonna buy because... Status effects. And also... I'm still trying to keep my spending to a minimum, mind you, right now, because this is not the optimum time to be buying consumables. But... Well... Have to do it at some point, basically. And I do need at least a few of each. Uh, you don't sell Phoenix Downs. That's inconvenient. He also sells Sprint Shoes here, which... If this is your first time playing, I highly recommend you buy at least one more pair of sprint shoes. If if not, you know why, and you can use your own judgment as to whether or not you need it. But if it's your first time playing, you probably want a second pair. Um, the Empire wouldn't even think of looking for our headquarters here. Why not? Um, whatever. Now then... No, I have not. We got a phoenix down! Cool. Can't rest in this bed, unfortunately. Okay, that was item number two, but not one of the- Well, I say that, but... Truth be told, the phoenix down is pretty useful. Oh hey, they have an inn in here. Just not what I wanted. <laughs> sure, free resting. Always sounds nice. Hmm. Now then... I think, uh, where do I want to go? Sorry, just a sack here. Okay, sorry about that. The trick is that the thing I'm looking for has a secret passage. I think, at least. Which can make it tricky to find. Because, you know, secret passage. That's sort of the point, really. Uh, no, it's not here. So... Basically, there's a secret treasure room in the Returners hideout. And that's what I'm trying to find. If I can just remember where. Um... I don't want to go in there, because that's where Bannon is. Where is that freaking... You already did this. Hmm... Oh, you know what? I see what the problem is. I'm... I, you know what? I tried doing this too soon. I need to go in here first. Where there's a save point, by the way. Because the thing is, uh, let's use the save point. Now, will this automatically prompt if we go too close to him? Uh... No? No. Okay, well this is a nice view, but this is not what I'm looking for. Although that will become important short in short order. Um, open the box. Okay, I'm at a bit of a loss here. Where's the thing I'm freaking missing? Um, yeah, I need to talk to Bannon here. Bannon! We brought her with us! 
So, this is the girl, the one whom the Esper responded with. Esper? It seems the Empire has complete control- had complete control over her. Carrier pigeons have kept me informed. Bannon looks kind of scary. Um, I also heard she wiped out 50 Imperial soldiers in mere minutes. No, that's not. Terra. For heaven's sake, Bannon, the girl doesn't remember anything. Hiding from the truth won't change it. Perhaps you've heard this story before. Once, when people were still pure and innocent, there was a box we they were told to never open. But someone went and opened it anyway, unleashing all the evils of the world. Pride, envy, greed, wrath. The seven sins, really? The only thing that remained in the box was a single ray of hope. Light. Yeah, I think that's what he said. <laughs> Your power is a gift, not a curse. No matter what happens, you must remember that. You are this world's last ray of light, our final hope. Baden! I've grown weary with the hour. Allow me to rest for a while. Okay, so we're here now. We're in control of Terra. Locke is right here. By the way, Terra's the only one in her party. Um... The Empire stole someone important from me. I've been hating it ever since. No one stands up to the Empire. More people will be left like me. That's why I joined the Returners. Um... But... There's no one more important in my li Let's try that again. But there's no one important in my life. The more in there completely changed the context. I have no family, no friends. That's not true. And besides, there are people who feel you're important to them. Those people are counting on you, too. Well, that's nice to say, anyway. So, now, I believe the room I want... It should be... Ow, where the hell is it? Um... I th it's right here, isn't it? Why is it not in here? Maybe my directions are just wrong. I guess it's pop- or unless- Oh, I can go up here now! Okay, no wonder I wasn't finding it, because I was being an idiot. Yeah, okay, the treasure room is right here. So forget about it being hidden, it's just I'm stupid. Um... Treasure! Treasure-like? An air knife! And a phoenix down! And a knight's code, another one! And an antidote! And an either! Uh, and is that everything? Um, that is everything. But the air knife is kind of cool. Uh, and you can't actually use it, so I can't actually show it to you. Oh well. But, it's, it's wind element. Only Locke can use it of my current... of people I've met so, thus far, it seems. And... It's fairly powerful, although the main gotch is usually better... on him... because... well... because it increases his agility. And evasion for that matter, but it's the agility that I care about more. Although the air knife, I think, hits harder. So, you know, it, it's up to you. Please, have the courage to join us in battle. Uh, 
And actually, now that I've found the treasure room, I'm 30 minutes in, and I don't think I've done much cutting. So I'm going to leave off here. Join me next time when we continue talking to the members of the Returners as Terra, our green mysterious waif. Uh, green-haired mysterious waif, that is. But until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day. Bye!